Hello again. Uh, we're going to be multiplying matrices, and this is usually something that I uh, start to talk about, and students kind of drop their pen, still caught it though, and they just give up on it uh, initially. But uh, if you keep working on it, it's not so bad. Uh, a few things that you have to um, think about though when you're doing matrix multiplication. I've got two matrices right here. I've got matrix A, which is 3, 5, 4, 1, and I've got matrix B, which is 3, 1. Uh, the first thing you ever do when you're taking care of multiplying matrices is figure out the dimensions. And for those of you who might have forgotten, the dimensions are uh, the rows versus the the rows and the columns. So this one has two rows and it has two columns. Remember, columns go up and down. That's the way I always remember it because that's how they're built. So rows have to go side to side. And you always do rows first. So this is a two by two matrix. Uh, B is two rows by one column. Now in order to multiply matrices correctly, and it tells me to find AB, actually I wrote that down but that's what I'm telling you to do, find AB, is you put it in the order that you have to find it. So I've got to find A times B. In order for it to work, I've got to check the inside numbers of the matrices. So this is one of the, uh, the inside dimensions, pardon me, of the matrices. So it's a 2 here and this is a 2. Don't check the outer 2, just check the inner 2. If they match, it means you can multiply them. If they don't match, then it doesn't work. For instance, these are both 2's, so I can multiply them. If this was a 1 and this was a 2, it doesn't work. If this was a 3 and a 1, it doesn't work. These two numbers have to match. So they do. What I tell my students to do is this. Circle them to make sure they match. If they do, you can multiply them. If they don't, don't do the problem. Since they match, I cross them out, and my resulting matrix is going to be the numbers left over. 2 by 1. That's going to be my answer when I multiply this out. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to find A times B. I'm going to need a little bit more room in order to do that. So I've got 3, 5, 4, 1 times 3, 1. Ugh, it's, just, it's, it's just a pain. It really is a pain. But you know the resulting matrix is going to be a 2 by 1. That means it's going to have two rows and one column. So, it's going to look something like this. That's how I tell my students to start out. And it's not so bad once you just kind of do it. Now, here's how you figure it out. Whenever you're multiplying matrices, you take rows by columns. Let me say that again. The first one is rows, the second one is columns. That's it. Let me say that again. Students forget all the time. It's rows by columns. So for the first matrix, it's row 1, column 1, and for the second, oh, excuse me, not matrix, element, and for the next element, it's row 2 by column 1. Now, students find that confusing at first, but when I do more examples, I'm like, oh, that does make sense. Well, of course it makes sense, it's mathematics. So let me say this again. It's rows on the first one, it's columns on the second matrix when you're multiplying. So I'm going to take row 1 by column 1, row 2 by column 1. There is no other columns there. So here's how I do it. It's 3 times 3. Remember, we're doing rows versus columns. 3 times 3 plus 5 times 1. Okay. Next one is 4 times 3 plus 1 times 1. Whatever that is, is my answer. 3 times 3 is 9. 5 times 1 is 5. 9 plus 5 is 14. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 times 1, which is 1. 12 plus 1 is 13. When I multiply these two matrices together, my answer is the 2 by 1, 2 rows by 1 column matrix, 14, 13. This is where I have a lot of students who just take out their graphing calculator and they just don't ever want to multiply matrices. It really does build up your mind. Uh, you don't have to choose to believe that if you don't want to, but it does. And some students just don't have the $93 to buy a graphing calculator that does that anyways. So, it's good to learn to multiply matrices. Remember, it's rows by columns. And we're going to try the next one, but before I do that, 
uh, let me ask you if you can do B times A. Can you do B times A? If I reverse the matrices, can I do A 2 by 1 times A 2 by 2? And the answer is, since these don't match, it's garbage. You can't do B times A. It doesn't exist. You can do A times B, but you can't do B times A because these two numbers have to match. B is 2 by 1. A is 2 by 2. Always check the inside numbers. They don't match. That's it. We're going to try one more problem. I want to do A times B. Uh, this is a 3 by 1 matrix. It's three rows, one column. And this is a 1 by 3 matrix. It's one row, but three columns. And I want to know if I can multiply um, A times B. And the answer is yes, I can. Because these two numbers match. Good. So I'm left with a 3 by 3 matrix. That's going to be my answer. So it's going to look something like that. Uh, before you get a little concerned about it, though, don't worry about it too much. It's not so bad. Watch how I do it. Uh, remember, for this one, it's, the first matrix is always rows. The second matrix is always columns. So it's row 1, column 1. Row 1, column 2. Row 1, column 3. And I put down 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3 because it's my element that I'm going to use to figure it out. Next one is row 2, column 1. Row 2, column 2. Row 2, column 3. Row 3, column 1. Row 3, column 2. Row 3, column 3. Now, oh, it's not as difficult as you think it is. It really isn't, actually. Here we go. 1 times 3, 3. Bam! There's nothing else I can do there. 1 times 2, 2. 1 times 1, 1. I should probably slow it down just a little bit. I took each row, multiplied by a column. Each row, multiplied by the next column. Each row, multiplied by the next column. Next one. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2. And see, I'm looking at that as a map. 2, 3. So I'm going to take row 2, column 3. This one tells me to take row 3, column 1. So it's 3 times 3, 9. 3 times 2, which is 6. 3 times, which is 3. Probably should have made that a little bit bigger. And that's what you do. I want to erase this really quickly. I want to do one more problem with this, because I think it's really cool. Let's see how it goes. I'm not going to erase these matrices up. Instead of finding um, A times B, I'm going to see if I can find B times A. Ooh. Good. Can I take this matrix, which is 1 by 3, and multiply it by A, which is 3 by 1? Do the inside numbers match? Yes, they do. Cross them out. I'm left with a 1 by 1 matrix. That's going to be my answer. It's going to be one element. That's all. But in order to do that correctly, I'm going to have to you know, write it down. 3, 2, 1 times 2, 3. So here we go. I'm telling you, it's just a 1 by 1 matrix. There's only one element there. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 1 times 3, which is 3. 3 plus 4 plus 3 is 10. That is my answer when I take B times A, just the matrix time. Uh, when you get the hang of doing that, then it's not so bad. Actually, I think this one was more difficult than the first one, which was a really big matrix, because you got to remember to keep track of everything that's going on. With that said, I hope that's very helpful. But for right now, have a great day. Goodbye.